Tavetta Talks. I am Tavetta. This conversation is about a topic that most people have experienced, but people don't always talk about. So I'm here to normalize the conversation about grief. Joining me for this conversation is the one and only Takesha Brown. I call her Sunshine because even on days where grief tries to visit, she is the sunshine in my life. How are you? The sunshine in my life. You notice I let you sing. I am well. How are you today? I am doing well. Anytime I can spend time with you, I consider it a gift. And so with the gift of your presence, I want to talk about what does grief mean to you? Mm. Oh, I have grown to embrace grief uh, over the years, but my first encounter like as an adult of really um starting to figure the thing out about grief was in 2003 it was longing for the physical body that was no longer on earth but as time progressed what i've learned is that um when you grow also in relationship with god you it shifts to not necessarily longing or mourning for the person to be back on earth. Cause like I'm at peace with the deaths that I've had. In 2003, I lost my grandmother. In 2005, I lost my sister. In 2009, I lost my mother. In 2018, I lost my father. And then I lost my two aunts in 2018. So I've had a lot of loss Um, and such trying times like is is it they, it seemed like it was hitting me back to back to back so as each time there were deaths i i think i was prepared um so to speak for some of them because some of the deaths were sudden and then others were um a process so it, i just think that for me grief um the definition or the way that i looked at it it shifted a over time you know it shifted over time because i grew stronger in my relationship with god and understanding of what it was and what it is um and what it wasn't for me now today is about honoring your loved ones that's what it's about that's what i look at grief as to honor i don't focus on the deficit aspect of it i look at it from the asset part of it can you share some of the ways you honor and celebrate your loved ones, in particular, your mother's recent birthday celebration? Um, some of the way, well, my mother was a partier. She was the life of the party. Um, so I think this year was her 69th birthday and I had a birthday party for her via Zoom and so I invited you know friends and family and we played some of her favorite songs and told stories about mama I mean it was such a refreshing time um and it was a lot of fun everybody was like oh are we gonna do this again <laughs> you know? like you know everybody wanted to do it again and and so that was kind of um a legacy you could say that I started because I also was able to do it for my cousin to celebrate her birthday as well so it was kind of something that I kind of started so now we will get together um and celebrate not just death but birthdays too and holidays and stuff and so forth so yeah thank you for sharing that is so beautiful 